Welcome back friends. Today I'm going to show you how I created this melted text effect uh, using some text and some elements in Canva. So stay tuned. All right, so I am starting off with a workspace. This is a YouTube thumbnail and it is the size of 1280 pixels by 720 pixels. Now I'm going to start off by placing some text on my workspace. And I will type in here, melted. And I'll just leave it in lower case letters for now. Now, I'm going to use a different font today. Um, so I'll go into my fonts. And in here, I'm going to search for a font called Rubik. Um, it has many uh, different styles in here. But the one that I'm going to use today is called Rubik Dirt. And it has kind of a bubbly um, look. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for chocolate. Uh, I'm going to go into what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into my recent and I'll place these chocolates on my workspace for now. Now I'm not going to use these, but I want to kind of use the color. So I'm kind of trying to match the color with the color of the chocolate. So I'm going to grab this um, text and I'm going to go to uh, the font color up here and I'm going to click on the brown that's located in the chocolate. And so now we can see that uh, the text is sort of the same color as the chocolate but all right so I'll leave it at that the next step for us is to look for some drip elements so I'm going to come into um, elements and I have some already here but let's go back to the beginning where we're searching for elements and I'm just going to search for drip liquid dripping liquid and I'm going to go into graphics and you want to look for elements that you can change the color. So here are some. And as we can see, um, we can change the color of this one. So um, what we can do is we can just resize that a little bit. And we can place that in there, just coming right off the E. And we'll go into the color chooser. And we can now change the color of that uh, element to kind of match the text and you can repeat this over and over and over again you should use different elements so that it doesn't look all the same so right now i've used this one uh, maybe you might want to put something like that on your desktop and change it to um, the same color and then resize it and kind of uh, use it somewhere else now you can also Crop these if they are too large just double click and you can just um, squeeze over a little bit like that and then you can just resize and place on your um, text like that and you can just continue this process over and over and over again so this was another very short tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to be notified when new content comes out. Also, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel memberships. I go live every week and I give my adult learners personalized help and assistance. So check out my membership level. There's a level that's right for everyone. And um, hopefully there's a level that's right for you. For now, my friends, I will say bye-bye until next time.